One week after police say a Fort Jackson trainee hijacked their child's school bus, parents of some of those children are speaking out. They say they want to see changes to make sure that this never happens again. Our Columbia reporter Jason Raven has the story from Richland County. Fort Jackson officials say they are pausing their weapons immersion training while they continue to investigate this incident. Attorneys for a family seeking legal action say no litigation has been filed yet, but they are promising action against Fort Jackson and Richland School District 2. There are long term consequences for a group of children um, who are our most vulnerable, who we have to protect. Josh Flores says his two daughters were on the school bus when it was hijacked. He says they are still dealing with the emotional trauma of the situation. At this point, my daughters are doing better. They have not returned to school because they're having nightmares. They're scared to go to school. Law enforcement say the driver and 18 students were on the bus with the trainee for a few minutes. A school bus video shows the trainee who law enforcement say is 23 year old Javon Colazzo pointed his unloaded military issued rifle at the bus driver. Nobody was harmed in the incident and he reportedly got onto the bus after he escaped Fort Jackson by jumping a fence. Flores says he still has more questions and answers about the incident. It was just a very uncomfortable and unfortunate situation. And you, you got to ask yourself, how does a guy, how does a soldier from Fort Jackson get off of the um, off the military base with the with the gun? How does that happen? And Fort Jackson says they've reached out to school officials to meet with parents as they review their accountability measures. In a statement, the school district says they continue to offer counseling services to students and employees and have been reviewing district practices and policies surrounding transportation safety. Attorneys say they want to see changes made to prevent this from happening again. We also want to make sure that this doesn't happen again. We cannot take lightly what happened. The school district, uh, the United States military cannot throw their hands up and be like, whew, we dodged a bullet. Um, that's just not the way this works. Friday, the school district will be holding a ceremony honoring the school bus driver. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. The suspect, 23-year-old Jovan Calazzo, remains in custody in Richland County.